In this video, we will discuss the different drawing tools available in iTIC NXT and how to choose the best tool for the job. iTIC NXT contains a variety of drawing tools to help you precisely and accurately map your worksite, but choosing the appropriate tool for the job can be tricky. Let's take a look. First of all, you'll need to be zoomed in on the map in order to access the drawing tools menu. The radius or circle tool will create circular excavation entities of whatever size you require. This tool is ideal for jobs such as planting trees, installing road signs, or removing utility poles. First, you'll need to specify the size of the radius. Then, click on the center of the excavation area. The Route tool creates long and narrow excavation entities freehand. This tool is similar to the street tool, the main difference being that the route tool is suited for route-shaped excavations that don't follow established roads. If you're doing a utility line installation in a new area, or repairing a cement walking path that doesn't run alongside a road, this is the tool to use. First, specify the width of the excavation area. Start drawing your route by clicking on the map at the beginning of the work area. If your route turns at all, you can set pivot points along the route by single clicking. When you've finished drawing your route, double-click the final point. You can now see the excavation entity, including the width you specified earlier. The Property or Parcel tool is perfect for jobs that take place within the property boundaries of a specific address. After selecting the Parcel tool, click on the property where the work will take place. If parcel data is available, one quarter of the property will now be covered the property boundaries will also be clearly visible. You may click additional quadrants to select or deselect them. If necessary, you may also use the Extend function to expand the parcel entity beyond its preset boundaries. The Street tool is designed to create excavation entities along established roadways. This tool is ideal for jobs involving road repair, replacing utility poles, or utility mainline installations. You will be asked to enter a width. Click on a road or highway at the beginning of the work area. Click again at the end of the work area. The other tool is reserved for jobs where no other drawing tool will effectively cover the dig site. This tool should only be used as a last resort. Start drawing your polygon by clicking on the map at a corner of the work area. Click again to create a new point. Continue setting points until you have completely encompassed your work area. To close out the polygon, click on the same point where you began. Thanks for watching.